everybody. Today I have two um, books from Patricia Burks. I have her Petal Pusher book and I have her Heart Coloring book. Um, let's just start off with one at a time. Um, I want to say if you hear a noise, I'm so sorry. I got a fan on because it's hot and our air conditioner is being worked on and it's raining outside. So there may be a little background noise. I'll try to talk a little louder. Um, this book I got from Patricia Burke. It is really, really pretty. The cover, I, it's just amazing. I really like the details of the colorist. Um, I like how Patricia puts the index of all of her pages. I love when artists do that. Um, it is, let me see, what pages it is. Um, let me see. She thanks everybody that helped her along the way here. And I don't know how many pages it is, but it's one sided and they're non perforated. And it's like, um, it's um, copy paper basically. She has her um, website, color coloradoodle.com on all the pages which is really nice so you remember um, when you post in them showing off your work um, this one is really really cute I really like this book it's got a lot of detail the line work is really pretty you can tell it's hand drawn which is my favorite type of books I would say that these books are definitely more on the advanced side because of all the details some of these are definitely, you know, some are for more beginners, of course. Like this one, too. The flowers are really, really cute in here. This is the one I started. Let me get some light in here. Let me see. On this one, I used some Tombow markers and some glitter gel pens. It does bleed through, of course, but that's okay. You can protect your work like I did see. Nothing goes through. She has some very, very creative flowers and mandalas in here that I really like. A lot of details in this one. This one's really pretty. This will be really nice colored in. There were so many cute ones I didn't know where to start. I almost did this one too. That might be my next one. This one's really pretty. They're all pretty. What can I say? I like this one a lot. Just very whimsical. This one's really, really, really pretty. This one's different. I like the middle. I think this one she did as a giveaway or a contest or something. I remember seeing the one with the back, uh, the lines in the background. roses and right here bonus pages she had you can stop the video right here let me see if I can get a little closer for you here are her website she's got uh, coloradoodle.com um, gumroad.com backslash colordoodle facebook.com slash colordoodle and you can also follow her on Instagram at color a doodle one the number one Now, going, keep, uh, as we're going forward, the rest of these pages are from some of her other books. Um, Shoe Doodles, Zoo Doodles, Hearts, and for the print your own books, you can download some, the PDFs. Um, you can go to gumroad.com forward slash color a doodle on her site. So, a lot of people want to just print them, you know, instant gratification, get them out, you can start printing them and coloring them as you want, put them on whatever paper you want. This one's from her Zoo Doodles. This one's from Hearts. Shoe Doodles 2 coming winter 2017. Exciting. And then we got some blotter pages on the end here. So yeah, this is a really, really pretty book. I think you will like this. Um, and I just got the back in color. I like that. So let's see the next one of hers we've got here. Hearts. Okay. And it's it's like the other one. It's got a lot of beautiful designs in it. Let me back up just one more. Here we go. 
this one she's got the index again which is really great and she tells you to check out her zoo doodles and her shoe doodles um, the colors who colored the outsides of her books the, this book belongs to Paige and here we go same thing as the other book one-sided non-perforated it's on co like copy paper lots of details lots of little tiny images this one's really cute I've got double heart this is the one that she showed you the freebie in the other book This one I like. You can see it's all the little hearts going this way. It would look really cool if you had a good color palette. Color them all differently. I almost did this one because I wanted to do my markers and do the little swirl but I changed my mind. How she intertwines them. the one I did. Um, for this page I used my Oh Hue Hue markers and my Color It markers. Of course they all bled through. I kind of like the back side. That looks neat. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's keep going. Really, really pretty. Yeah, she's got some from very easy to very, very complicated. This one would be really pretty to do. So, yeah, this is a really great book. This one is definitely harder. You would need your um, little tiny fine liners. Very cool. And these are the blotter pages again. Yeah. And there's the, um, the back in color. Again, um, Hearts Coloring Book and Petal Pusher by Patricia Burks. I hope you like these. If I know she has a Facebook group and everything else, you might want to go join her. Um, if you, I'll post all the links down in the um, in the description box. If you have any um, questions, please leave it and I will be glad to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.